Welcome everybody to New Orleans and the iconic Caesars Superdome, the long-term home of the All-State Sugar Bowl, which this year, of course, is part of the college football playoff. We are through the opening round of this year's playoff, and now the pressure is mounting in the quarterfinals. A matchup between one side that's had time to rest and recover and another team that's battle-tested already off one playoff victory. As we'll see the number five seed in this playoff, the Michigan Wolverines taking on the number four seed in the playoff, the Kansas State Wildcats. 3A Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, here in the booth with Kirk Herbstreit. And here we go, a college football playoff quarterfinal game. We'll see which team's going to be moving on. Kickoff team out there. We're ready to rumble for this college football playoff game. And here's the return from inside the five. Stop at the 22. That's pretty solid coverage there. So Michigan's offense going to get the chance to start this game off. Well, the energy of this building, Chris, is going to pick up as this sugar ball unfolds. As they say in New Orleans, le bon temps roule. Let the good times roll. That were really one of the more hostile environments, I think, when it comes to bowl games. You know, I've called so many games in here. Think about the history. Going all the way back to 1935, they played the Sugar Bowl right here in New Orleans. I think a lot of people have associated this bowl game with the SEC. But as we've seen since the start of the playoff, teams like Washington, Ohio State, Clemson, among others, have made this trip down here to the Bayou. And an explosive play. Stop finally made across midfield at the 44. This line getting set up. It's a first down play. The shotgun run call. It's a one yard gain, second and nine coming up. Fakes the handoff, looking to throw. And he's got his man open downfield. They make the tackle, but the game moves the ball to the 28. The Wolverines looking to keep this drive rolling. That's a nice completion here by this Michigan offense. And when Michigan is really clicking, you think about over the years, they've been efficient within that passing game, being able to throw the football to complement a very physical running game. Nice play. And the Wolverines trying to punch it in. It's first and goal. Keep it on the ground on first and goal. Nowhere to run. They'll corral him for no gain. Defense clearly setting up to stuff the run here. And the back now goes in motion. And he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no farther than that. Third down and goal. Crucial play coming up. And he drops back in the gun. Pressure is coming. Well, that was exciting, but no one to throw to. Eventually, it goes down. So it looks like they'll bring the field goal unit onto the field. Well, this is exactly how you can slow down the momentum and the rhythm of an offense. you got to get some tackles for a loss and some sacks. This time, they come up with a sack by getting after that quarterback. So after the field goal, the kicker out there again to boot it away. And that one, my gosh, I mean, it's almost too easy. Nice kick. Fielded in the end zone. It's Edwards. And he's tackled at the 21. That's where the drive will start. So the Kansas State Wildcats offense gets their first crack now. All right, Kirk, let's take a quick look at the impact players for today's game and how they're going to affect the outcome. These are your leaders on the field and in the locker room. These are your go-to guys, not only when you need a play to be made, but also when you need somebody to rally your team. Some hard running there through a tackle. Defense shoves him out of bounds. Not much of a gain there. A gain makes it second and medium. And the quarterback keeps it here. The junior able to bring him down quickly. So from the 28-yard line, it's a third and manageable here. Try and muscle for the first down. Tackle made at the 41. That's a nice gain. They're getting closer to the 50. Kansas State getting set with a first and 10 coming up. 
On the ground, it's Edwards. And tackled after a small pickup there. Second down after that run on the previous play. Keep it on the ground, there's the handoff. And just a short gain this time, they're able to get him down. Challenging play for the offense, they face third and long here from their own 43. Dropping back, looking to throw for the first down. And he can't escape. It's a sack for the defense. On the return, it's Stewart. And the returner is brought down to wrap up the first quarter of play. So Kirk, Michigan has the lead here at the end of the quarter. We've reached the end of one in this quest to move one step closer to a national championship. Let's check out the stats so far. Through one period, these teams are finding out that playoff games just feel different. Who can handle the nerves better as we head to the second? First play of the drive, they look to the right. Defense surrounds him, just a short gain on that completion. Second down after that run on the previous play. How about this defense? That is called team pursuit. Swarming to this wide receiver on the screen, not allowing him to get his momentum upfield. Challenging spot for the offense. It's third down and long from the 45. Dropping back, looking to throw for the first down. And the sophomores got him for a sack. Chris, that is textbook by this defense in man-to-man -man coverage. Nowhere to go for this quarterback. He's looking around everywhere to find an open man. By the time he figures it out, it's a sack for the defense. And they'll kick it away here. Feel it at the 25. They finally get him down, but that's a solid return. Good work by the return man. And the Wildcats offense back out on the field. They came up empty on the last possession, forced to punt it away. Can they begin to click now? Stop after a small gain. Now looking at second and nine. Sticking with the running game. And they'll stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. So the offense getting set. This is not where you want to be against this defense. Third and long. Dropping back, looking to throw for the first down. And the junior gets home making a sack there. The Wildcats will line up to kick it away. A really good job by this defense. The quarterback looked to be trying to work through his progressions to find his open receiver, but before he knew it, he's on his back. He's got an opening. Watch out. He's got great speed. And he's going to head out of bounds, but not before picking up some good yardage on the return. Offense makes its way on the field to get the drive started. Caught in the backfield, it's Klein. Breaks loose at the 40. They tackle him, but the game moves the ball to the 36. Fresh set it down to the offense, first down. Boy, another positive gain for this offense, and this quarterback continues to show how dangerous he is when he has time to throw. The defensive coordinator's got to change up his looks, maybe bring in the blitz, anything they can do to get this quarterback out of this rhythm. About time this offense gets going, it's a first and ten. Chris, that's another positive game for this offense, and this quarterback continues to show why he's had such a great year this year. When he has time to throw, he gets his feet set. He's as accurate as any quarterback in the country. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? Boy, the options dried up quickly for the quarterback here. Very, very fortunate he was somehow able to get back to the line of scrimmage. The tackle is made just a short gain after the completion. And he'll drop back here on third down. The pocket. Nowhere to go, and the ball is knocked loose. Defense has got the football. And they bring him down, but look, there's a penalty marker on the field. Let's see if the officials wipe away this turnover.
The defensive penalty is declined. Offense very happy to take the result of that play. From the shotgun, it's a handoff. And the senior able to make the stop after a short game. So we've reached the two-minute warning as this offense tries to take the lead here before halftime. Off the play fake, looking to throw the football. That's Carr, it's Cephas. They get him down quickly, not much of a gain on that completion. They get to the line in a hurry here for this third down. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. Pass not complete. And the Wildcats bring their punt team onto the field. Man, on your own side of the field, you're playing a risky game here, third and short. Your goal should just be keep this drive alive the best way you can sometimes is just hand the ball off to your running back and have him get behind that offensive line and go to work. Curious to see what they do now here on this fourth and short. First play of the drive, they'll come out throwing. Grab down the middle, it's Carter. He stopped, but he gets a first down. So the offense calls a timeout here. That's their first of the half. You set it down for the offense, first and 10. From the shotgun, he's probing the secondary. Makes the throw across the middle of the field. Tried to squeeze one in there, but it's incomplete. Important second down play coming up. And he's back to throw again after that incompletion on first down. Looks downfield and finds a receiver who worked his way wide open. Tackle made after a big game. The Wolverines have first and 10 here. Looking to throw it from the red zone. Finds his man. It's Loveland. Oh, and he goes down after a short game. That's not enough for the first down. And the offense will now quickly spend a timeout. Second down play coming up for this offense. There's the snap. They'll set up to throw. The pass rush closing in. And it's the senior getting home with the sack. Offense been in reverse here. Now a long way to go to convert this third down. They make the stop, but not before a solid gain that time. One more play before they head to the locker room. So a timeout is called. Just a few seconds left here in the first half. So on first down, the field goal unit will come out there trying to get three points before the half. He was on target with his first try. This is a chip shot from 24 yards. No problem. Knocks it right through. So here's the kickoff now. Offense settling for three, tacking on a little bit of momentum before the halftime break. I was watching this guy in pregame. He has got a strong leg. Not surprised here he's able to put three points up here for the offense. And then it's going to wrap up the first half here. Let's kick it now to Kevin Connors with our halftime update. Thanks, Chris. The magnitude and intensity of these playoff matchups is always something special to be a part of. And I get it. A lot of coaches will say the difference between winning and losing comes down to stopping big plays and getting big plays. But if you ask me, it's more about how good you are on third down and how efficient you are in keeping drives alive. Those two stats can help you break the will of even the best defenses and help you come out on top. That's going to do it for us here at the half. Time to see how this incredible playoff drama plays out. And for that, it's back to Chris and Kirk. He's going to bring it out of the end zone from a couple yards deep. Powering through the defender. Not much on the return. They'll stop him at the 24. Good coverage. Okay, the K-State offense is back out on the field now. They'll start the drive here with an end around. Already got the first down, but looking for more yardage. They bring him down, but the drive has now reached the 35. And there's the handoff. Stopped right there at the line. No gain. Getting set. Here's second down. On the run, it's Giddens. Breaks loose at the 45. 
And a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. The Wildcats will hustle to the line to run the hurry-up offense. And they'll run it. Hand it off to the running back. Picks up two, so it's second and eight. They'll test the right side here. Spinning out of the tackle. And the second effort there will earn him the first down. Trying to flex the ground game here. Running back takes the handoff. Chris, you know, the spread era over the years has always grown offensively. But what I've been always impressed with, the defenses that really build their defense to play in space still have an ability to be sound at the line of scrimmage and defend a running game. It's exactly what we saw right there. They come to the line, a long way to go for the first down, but needing this crucial conversion right now. Here's a shot toward the end zone. Intercepted in the end zone. Not much on the return, but they snuff out the drive with the takeaway. That offensive coordinator is going to have some choice words for his quarterback over the phone on the sideline after that throw. You have to be more careful with the football. And the Wolverines offense is back on the field. This one has been a defensive stalemate. Let's see if the offense can get something going here. The shotgun running play call. A game moves the ball out near the 25. A game makes it second and medium. Quick throw caught on the left side. Tackle made of the 41. That's a nice gain getting closer to midfield. First down play call. How aggressive will it be? Another big play by this offense, and it continues to be the pass game. Between the offensive line, the receivers running good routes, and this quarterback making really accurate throws, they are dynamic and a tough offense to stop. Second down after that run on the previous play. Testing the right side here. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. One of those critical third down plays coming up. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. Short throw to the back, caught behind the line of scrimmage. They bring him down, but not before he gains first down yardage. The Wolverines are going to keep this drive rolling. What a huge third down conversion here for this offense. Nice job of being able to give the quarterback enough time. He finds the matchup that he wants, gets it to his man, and he does the rest. And that stiff arm will help earn him the first down. And the Wolverines come to the line to start a fresh set of downs. Chris, I kind of feel like a coach right now because I'm always wondering why the angle route continues to be so effective when as an inside linebacker... And a sophomore making an impact play. That sack sets up a second down and very long. That's a really nice job of bouncing back by this defense after giving up that big gain. This time they get the pressure and bring that quarterback down. And the runner scoots out of bounds after gaining some decent yardage. They're backed up here trying to make something happen on third and long. Send the back in motion. On third down, he drops to throw. Bringing pressure. And a senior making a disruptive impact play. So, Kirk, Michigan has the lead here at the end of the quarter. And as we reach the end of three, time is running out in this crucial contest for both these programs to stay alive in the quest for a national championship. Let's check out the game summary before we move on. And the kick is good. Offense settles for three on the drive. Boy, this guy had plenty of leg here, too. Chris, you remember the days when a kick from 50-plus was a major accomplishment? Now these guys knock these out like they're almost automatic. So after coming away with three in that drive, the kickoff team is out. Bringing it out, it's Edwards. 
I mean, he's got some space here. On the move. Can he make it? They can't catch him. Touchdown. That score makes things a lot more interesting here in the fourth quarter with a spot in the national championship game on the line. This feels like a playoff game now. You can see it on the guys' faces. That was a momentum punch. Now the focus shifts to the opposition. Can they march down and answer, or will they wilt to the pressure? PAT up and good. They get a little bit closer. Kickoff team has come on the field now to send this one away. Fields it inside the five-yard line. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. And the Michigan offense comes back out on the field. They got points on the board last time thanks to a long-range field goal. Fights through a tackle. Heads out of bounds after a solid gain, more than enough to pick up a first down. First down here for this offense. But that's going to be a first down, and, and really, Chris, kind of surprised here in the fourth quarter not to see this defense dial up some pressure. They're just sitting back in the base, making it relatively easy for the offense to pick up a first down on the ground. Finally out of bounds after a solid gain, but there is a flag on the field. So let's check this out. Big guys up front lined up. It's first down. Caught over the middle. It's Carter. They bring down the receiver, but that's a nice gain on that play. Second down after that run on the previous play. And the quarterback drops back looking for an open man. Quick throw complete to the tight end. They stop him at the 22. This offense in great scoring position now. First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? Well, this is what coaches love to see. A quarterback with the ability to read the defense properly and then just get it to the open man. Sometimes it sounds simple, but it's tough to execute. This time we have good recognition by the quarterback, and he gets it down to the tight end. You can see what he can do after the catch. Out of the shotgun, he'll hand it off. And a decent gain there before the defense brings him down. The Wolverines looking to take advantage of the red zone trip here. From the shotgun, handoff inside. And they tackle him, but not before he picks up the first. For the offense, a chance to extend the lead, but more importantly, milk the clock here late in the game. Good call here by the offense to be able to pick up this first down. And Chris, it makes you wonder, with under three minutes to go in this game and trailing, the defense sitting back in their base, I thought they might be in a little bit more of an aggressive mindset, turning the blitz loose, trying to create some plays to get the football back. And he runs it in for the score. Touchdown, Wolverines. Boy, as a defensive coordinator, you've got to be careful being so worried about this pass game and this quarterback that you're a little bit soft up front, and it costs you. It's exactly what happened here as they score this touchdown. Kickoff team is on the field. Let's see if they give the returner a chance to bring this one back. Return starts from inside the five. Tackled at the 22. Good job by the coverage team. And the Kansas State offense is back out on the field. They had some good things going on the last drive, but it ended suddenly with the pick. Let's see what they can do here. It's a short completion of the tight end. Really solid first down gain. He's just short of the marker, so maybe a chance here to take a downfield shot. It's a nice completion there, Chris. This possession at this point in the game is critical for them. They've got to focus on putting points on the board right now to make this a one possession game. And they wrap him up, but the gain is good enough for a first down. And the Wildcats will hustle to the line to crank the tempo. Hey, it's a nice gain here, and they get the first down to stop the clock. But late in the game, trailing by a couple scores, these receivers have got to be thinking about getting out of it. And the junior able to get home with the sack. Second and long for this offense after the sack. And just like that, you squeeze the life out of this offense. That's another sack by this defense. They have been in that backfield the entire game and a big reason why these guys are enjoying a lead. And they get him down after the completion. The tough spot, the offense has to convert the third and long from the 30 to get this drive going. There's the snap, quarterback setting up to throw. Going for a big play downfield. And that's incomplete. They weren't afraid to let it fly, but 
It brings up a fourth down. Down late, they'll keep the offense on the field, trying to chip away at this lead. Fourth down, looking to throw for it. And now another deep ball here. And it falls incomplete for a turnover on downs. The offense starts with a short field. Well, I don't blame the offensive coordinator here. It's the right thing to do down a couple scores. They just didn't execute. Here's the second down play. And that's the two-minute warning as this offense tries to work the clock, getting closer now to an impressive victory. Moving the receiver around pre-snap. They'll use that running game, trying to bleed the clock here. Brought down, but it's past the line to gain. And now a timeout taken by the defense, trying to preserve as much clock as possible for their offense. And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. Stopped short of the marker after just a short game. And now it's the defense that calls timeout here, trying to get organized and preserve as much clock as possible. And they'll run it out of the shotgun. Able to fight for a decent gain here in that running play. And now a timeout taken by the defense, trying to preserve as much clock as possible for their offense. They'll change the pre-snap look now. Runner takes the toss and moves to his right. And they'll stop him just short of the marker. Good effort, but the defense holds. Now it's fourth down. Well, here we go again. The field goal team is out there. This kicker's already got three makes in this game. And he knocks that one right through. And that will extend their lead even further. They come away with three points on the drive, and now the kickoff team will boot it away. Well, Chris, it's a nice kick here to polish off that drive with at least three points up on the board. Returner tackled right there. That's when they'll start the drive. And the Wildcats offense back out on the field. That last possession, they got stopped on fourth down in their own end. Let's see if they can get it going. This and now the ball comes out. A disastrous play from the start. The offense recovers the fumble. Now they've got to hustle to the line and get set. Now they come up to spike it to stop the clock. Well, a serious challenge for this offense. You don't want to be in third and long inside your own 20. How much of a risk will they take to try to pick up this first down? He's running out of time here. He's going to take off. And he'll avoid the tackle there with a slide. So down by multiple possessions here, the offense will try to convert here on fourth down. Drops back from the shotgun, looking for an open man. Final minutes here, they'll throw it deep downfield. And the pass is incomplete. That's a big stop for this defense on fourth down. So the job is simple here. Just take a knee, run out the clock, and begin the celebration. Well, it wasn't a flawless performance, Kirk, but they look pretty good out there today and a very satisfying W. Well, I think this group has a chance to do some really special things this year. They clearly have talent to be able to work with. And I've been impressed with how this head coach managed the game and led his team to a victory. And that is going to wrap it up. We enjoyed this one here. For Kirk Herbstreet, I'm Chris Fowler, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.